Why, in the 21st century, does anti-Semitism persist? This age-old hatred continues to manifest in various forms, from subtle biases to overt acts of violence. Let's turn back the clock to the late 20th century. Roald Dahl, a celebrated children's book author, openly admitted to being anti-Semitic. Despite his book's enduring popularity, Dahl's personal views have been subject to intense scrutiny, especially in recent years. In 2018, the British Royal Mint even rejected a proposal to commemorate Dahl due to his association with anti-Semitism. The Dahl family and the Roald Dahl Story Company have since apologised for his history of anti-Semitism. Fast forward to the present day. The fight against anti-Semitism continues, with universities often at the forefront of this battle. Recently, the University of Pennsylvania came under fire. The university's president, Elizabeth McGill, faced criticism for her handling of anti-Semitism on campus. After a congressional hearing, billboards demanding McGill's dismissal circled the campus, echoing the public outcry against her insufficient protection of Jewish students. In response to the controversy, McGill attempted to clarify her position, stating that calls for the genocide of Jews were indeed evil. She recognised the need for clear policies on hate speech and intimidation, and pledged to create a safer campus environment for all. In summary, anti-Semitism, a deeply rooted form of hatred, continues to provoke controversy and demand action. From Dahl's controversial legacy to the recent events at the University of Pennsylvania, the fight against anti-Semitism is far from over. It's a reminder that societal progress requires not only acknowledgement of past mistakes, but also a commitment to preventing future ones. As we move forward, let's strive to create a world free from hatred and prejudice. If you are interested in more video like this, please like and subscribe to my channel.